Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2 Episode 6 to see how accurate all the signs of technology in this anime really are. Hey everyone, Perry here. I have amazing news. I will be in a movie. That's right, I will be in my first feature comedy movie called Insta Famous. This movie is going to be premiering in Canton, Michigan on April 10th. The tickets to the premiere will be in the link in the description. Obviously, I'm going to be there. This will be a great opportunity for a meet and greet. I've never done one of those before, but this is the best chance to meet me, best chance for me to meet you guys. If you're in the area, buy a ticket. I would love to see you. You're going to watch a movie with me. It's going to be a hilarious comedy. I think it's going to make for a great time. Go ahead, buy the tickets. I hope to see you there. Stay fresh and stay golden. I never thought to do this, but I actually watched the opening credits and the end credits for Dr. Stone. I usually just skip ahead and get to the actual episode, but someone pointed out to me that there's like a bunch of little equations that show up like as the credits are like rolling in and rolling out and they asked me if they were actually real or just a jumble of like signs and Greek alphabet and like numbers and letters I just kind of put together to make it look legit and I'm going to actually find out. Let's see if they're real or not. This is really, really hard to tell because it just keeps on like overlapping each other and it's really hard to see, like especially the opening credits because it just like flies in and I really can't tell any of those. But as like, I've been like pausing it all throughout, right? But this equation just keeps on showing up. They repeat this every single time, like for any like credits on any part of the screen. It's f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x quantity divided by h. And that is a very, very long way of finding the derivative of something. When you first do Calc 1, they give you this formula, and then like as they do in all math classes, they're going to say, here's the really long and annoying way of doing it, and then chapter 2 is how you do everything in chapter 1, but in two steps. And it's really, really frustrating, because like, why did you show us the long way of how to do it, and then like the next chapter was just, here's how you take all of that, and just like, it's like just one plus one. Like it just becomes so simple and I was like, okay, that's great. And then there's the regular suspects like V is equal to IR, which is just Ohm's law, and then E is equal to MC squared, which is the most famous equation of all time. Like, yeah, like those show up over and over again. And then there are some that I just can't really tell. I don't know if this was meant to be a spoiler or something, probably wasn't, but that giant tank the Senku is building, it looks different than the one that we just saw in this episode. So I feel like there's more stuff there to be added to it still. And now I'm kind of curious because I thought it was like a one-time user just going to destroy it. But um, now I want to see how they keep adding on to it. <laughs> These end credits are way easier. There's only like one equation that I've seen so far, but this is a really, really cool end credits, especially for Dr. Stone. Like, it just, this is really pleasing to look at. Everything just like fits so perfectly. But, okay, so that equation, which is ma is equal to one half and then square root quantity of two multiplied by b squared plus c squared in parentheses, and then it's all of that minus a squared. That is the equation of how you find the median line in a triangle. If you look closely at it, that minus a squared should be included within the square root sign, and in the Dr. Stone end credits, they don't do that. So that equation that they're showing is incorrect. That second equation, okay, this thing's a little bit more complicated. It's s squared minus all that. That like fancy looks like like two triangles like kind of on top of each other sort of thing. That is like i minus one, and that's a summation. So it goes i minus one all the way to n, and then n could be whatever the n point represents. I'm not sure. Like it's taking the sum of x one minus x two, and then plus x one minus x two iteration number two iteration number three all the way to capital N iterations. And I I can't tell you what that is just by looking at it. But it looks like something that would be used for like statistics, like try, trying to find like standard deviation or uh, variance or something. Oh. 
警察の格闘大会警棒部門で優勝してるでしょ君めちゃくちゃ強いけどめちゃくちゃなおまわりさん wait, wait. The, the, he won in the baton category of a police martial arts tournament man this yo japan is on a whole new level like i don't even know if that's true i kind of hope it is like the, the police have their own martial arts tournament and there is a baton category and this guy got for wow like i really hope that's true that's gonna bum me out if it isn't i was wondering what the purpose of bringing back this blonde girl was like just why would you waste revival fluid on her but i, I guess it kind of makes sense like if she's a reporter or has some sort of talk show or something like that like whoever she is she clearly has access to a lot of strange people and she knows how to revive the ones that are particularly fit to help skasa or i can never pass the guy's name right but to help this dude and whatever cause he has So this guy is a cop that's reborn in a world with no laws and he's thriving. Seems like a bit of a stretch <laughs> and also somewhat of a problem and I also, okay, I feel like this anime really downplays how much these characters who are like revived from the 21st century miss technology, especially the guy who's a cop. Like, imagine what they have access to, that they have their firearms, radios, cars, boats, helicopters, I mean, goodness, like, he must be missing some of the access to technology that he had to, like, I mean, fail to do his job or whatever, but even those other guys, like, you don't think they miss Gold's Gym and just buying a protein shake whenever they want to and just driving whatever they feel like and having an iPhone? Like, look, I, I, I feel like there's seriously, like, a lacking of showing here like how much these guys really miss 21st century technology because this is not glorious, all right? Like they don't have heat, AC, like good shelter. Like look, there's a lot of things. Like goodness, clean water. There are so many things that you just don't have in this world. <laughs> this is really suspect that he just happened to get a battery as he's talking about like how convenient is that and I mean obviously I couldn't tell who that was that gave him the battery but it's definitely not Suika because she is tiny and she has a watermelon head right and I don't know who that was but I get a really strong feeling that that was not somebody um, from the Senku side. I mean I don't think Taiju is that smart to actually, I mean, granted, like, he does have access to his stuff because, like, they took his backpack, right? But how would, like, he know to get a battery and slide it to him in a prison? I don't think that that makes a lot of sense. No. Ah! 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 So it's definitely not the new guy which I kind of thought it was for a second. I mean, like, I don't know if he's smart or not. Like, from, from what we know, he's a little bit unstable as a human being, but I don't know. They could He could be really smart. I guess not. Like, I thought it was like this is some grand plan of, like, letting Chrome escape and then leading him back to, like, Senku, so then everyone just, like, overruns them in the middle of the night. That's... I was clearly wrong. The fact that he's still in jail means it wasn't anyone from Senku. So, like, it had to be someone from the, um, Skasa side. And, like... It's not the new dude, and it's not like a plan to like... The reason I think it's Okio especially is because like, I don't know, he's the only character who I don't know where his loyalties are. We're getting into some weird science here because I like I don't think that's realistic. Like I, I mean, I I'm I don't know if 
sodium hypochlorite can actually melt rope. I don't think it can, honestly, unless that's some really weak ass rope, but I don't think it is. Like it's enough to like withstand like him physically like pushing on the um the bamboo like bars and it, this doesn't seem legit to me. Remember in an earlier video of mine, I talked about distillation, how Senku was like repeatedly like distilling the same chemical in order to get like that really, really fine like acid? That could probably melt through like anything, right? But what, what Chrome's doing, that doesn't, it's because he only distilled it once and he used his sweat, which is 99% water and then 1% other. So I, I, I don't really think that that final solution is gonna melt the ropes as it showed. It's just, it just doesn't seem like it'll work that way. The reason we run electricity through salt water is to produce hypochlorite, or specifically sodium hypochlorite, and we do this to disinfect the water so that we can use it for drinking water and for swimming pools. This was a very big deal because after chlorination, like the mid 1900s, typhoid and cholera were just gone. And these were really, really rough to sicknesses, like diseases you do not want to have. But after we purified water, like a lot of shit got better for us. Oh, goodness, that is disgusting. Holy crap. Uh, that's. That ain't pneumonia, I'll tell you that, but whatever it is, like, old boy's gotta get that checked right now. Dang, I didn't see him cough once since season two started. I don't even know if he coughed in season one at all. Whatever Chrome has, that is not pneumonia. You would not be vomiting, like, that much volume of blood if that's the actual disease you had. I mean, so with pneumonia, like, you'd be coughing, and you'd be coughing up, like, yellow, green mucus. Sometimes it would be brown, and the, the brown color would be, like, will be, like, mixed in with blood, but a little bit of brown and mostly yellow and green. This is just straight up goodness. Like, I don't know how he's still alive. <laughs> like, but that's not pneumonia. That is so... Stupid. <laughs> and I can't believe it actually worked. He must have eaten a lot of that, like berries or whatever whatever the rest of that crap was, like a lot of it, because he was really vomiting that stuff up. And then just drank a bunch of water or something, because as he was running, he was like panting, like breathing out of his mouth, and when he like forced himself to throw up, that was goodness, that's just a lot. Like that's that, that is some resolve that Chrome has, but I guess if you're running for your life, then yeah, this is probably not outside the realm of possibility. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more Dr. Stone, it is on the way. If you want to see any other movie, TV show, or anime, let me know in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh, and stay golden.